Hello everyone. Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic student attendance management system. Let's see the requirements of this project. First we require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second we require a text editor. You may use any text editor but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Third, we require an operating system. Again, it depends on you what operating system you want to use. But the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. And the library used here, uh, there are no certain libraries, external libraries I have used here. Um, and the header files here used are IO stream, C string, string, and F string. Basically, these header files, they, they have certain functionalities. And we will be looking forward in the code what these functionalities actually are. So now let's move to the code part. Here we are in the code section. Okay. So first we have all the header files included as you can see IU stream, string, F stream and C string. Then we have the standard line that is using namespace S string. Then we have declared all the functions globally. Like the admin view, student view, student sign in, check credentials. This is the parameterized function here. We have two parameters. Then get all students by role, delete all students, delete student by role, list of students enrolled, check present country, uh, sorry, check present count. I'm sorry, I'm mistaken. Display the student with their present course, enroll student, admin login, and so on. Then there is a delay function. What is the work of the delay function? Like it will give you a slight pause of here I guess it's up three sec three milliseconds so it will give you a slight pause so that you can process the computer can also process and you can also process so basically this gives the whole system a sense of professionalism you can say it will say saving records exiting now so it looks good actually in the admin view portal first the skin screen will be cleared then we'll have these six functionalities to enroll a student, to delete all the students name enrolled, to delete student by roll call, to check the list of student enrolled by username, to check present count of any student by roll number, get list of student with their attendance count and so on. Then you have to enter your choice. So which case you entered, which number you enter, it will be driven towards that particular case and that particular function will be called and the system will break. Like you will be coming out of the loop. The switch case will break. Then the default will be invalid choice. Enter again. Means if you enter anything other than this seven numbers, then it says invalid choice. Enter again. If your go back will be one, like if the case zero is satisfied, then the loop will be broken. In case of student signing, the first function here the student login function is there. So here this student view function will be called and delay, delay function will be called every time to make the system look good actually. There is no uh, as such important use of delay function just to make the system good. You will see when I will show you the working of the code you can figure out properly. Then this is the admin login. In the admin login you have to enter the username and the password. The username is admin and the password is pass which you will be directed towards the admin portal or else it shows error invalid credentials then this is the ch uh, check student credentials here we have two parameters that is username and password then uh, what you have going to do is like here also we are using the file handling procedure or the file handling concept so that the db.dat it's a file in which all the information is stored then if this is correct the file exists then it is open for input then the record if the the record found is zero you have to have the string line then the string temp will be uh, all the uh, strings will be concatenated with, by using a plus sign that is username plus password plus dot dat then uh, the each and every line means the text in the line will be read like line to line it will be read then if record found will be 0, then you have to return 0, else you have to return 1. Then get all students by name. Your list of all students by their names will be displayed and you have to enter any key to continue. And uh, by if you want to get the students by their role number, so we need to call the role number function. And here the delete student by role number. Then check present 
count of the students by roll number so you have to enter like it will display a, a check present count of the student by roll number then you have to enter some characters after which you will be seeing the answer then all present count by roll number then this is a student login in case of student login they also have a username and password and again the username and password like if this is in the deck that is only admin and password this is username and password and if it is wrong like the credentials are wrong it says invalid credentials press any key for the main menu then here uh, you have to click what can a student do marking attendance and counting by attendance and going back these are the three functionalities that the student login function can do or the student view function can do then in case of mark my attendance uh, it says mark my attendance for today and this function function will be implemented then for counting the attendance it says the system says count my attendance for today and press any key to continue for deleting all students basically this function is used to delete all the students names from the database check list of student enrolled this is used to check which which student has enrolled in which class and stuff display student uh, with their present here all the students will be displayed with their present count then list of students enrolled here the students list will be displayed according to their username all this is uh, driven from the db dot database only if no record will be found it says no record can be found if you need to enroll and student you have to enter the name the username the password and the roll number again you have to get the address the father's name and the mother's name then the student will be enrolled if the username is already enrolled it says the username has been already enrolled you have to try for a new username and the student will be enrolled successfully and uh, here this is a main function in the main function we have two functionalities that is student login and admin login and exit by default so if you want to go to the student login you can perform the student functionalities if you want to go for the admin login you can get the admin functionalities so now let's run it and let's see what we have in control let's see. so i have to have the admin login first my username is admin and my password is so what i am going to do i am going to enroll a student enter name say simran enter username simran password simran roll number say i am roll number 7 address say master canteen father's name is mother name this the student has been enrolled now what i am going to do i am going to check the name of the student four uh so i have see my name is simran then what i am going to do i am going to check the present count uh so okay enter your choice get the list all students with their present count because i have not marked myself present yet then uh, i i want to go back i want to go for the student one see this was the work of the delete function got it so let's have a student login now username was simran password was simran okay so the file name is simran simran dot dat so see, the record will be saved 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 and exited this was the delay function which i was telling you Now let me have the admin login again. D M I N. So I have now I'll show you the delete part. So the student name is deleted. Now I will go and I'll check for the list. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you.